Hello, my name is Wayne King. I'm the daughter of Hezekiah Jackson Sr. I am the 17th child born to him and Rosebud Smith. Today I'm going to talk about an invention my daddy uh, made back in 1950s, I think it was. It was before I was born. I was born in 1954. And um, he heard about uh, a talking doll that was um, invented back in the 1800s. And he told my mom, and this is what my mom told me, say he told her, if they can make a doll that talks, then I can make one that walks. So he started working on his invention and gathering materials and stuff to make it. And it was consisting of, I don't know everything, but some of it was made with lava. That same stuff you use to make lava soap. He used lava. He used uh, some kind of piping that can pick up electronic signals and stuff. So he had a radio that would pick up those signals through the doll. So he had a, he made the doll. The doll was almost seven feet tall and uh, looked like a man. And uh, like I said, all this happened before I was born. So when I was born in 1954, he already had this invention, but never got it patented. Never got it copyrighted. Just, I mean, back then, uh, blacks really didn't know a whole lot about that stuff. And he did talk to several people about his invention, what he was, you know, working on and everything. So around, I guess, I guess it was 1953 before I was born, it, that doll was able to walk. So after I was born and everything, the doll had been sitting there for some years and everything. And my brother would put the radio in the doll's back and let him walk to scare us with it. But like I said, my father never had it, uh, a, you know, penning, you know, a patent on it or anything like that. So the people that he discussed it with actually stole his invention. So next thing I know, it was in, I think, the 50s, 1950s, they started making a doll that can walk and talk. And my father was very heartbroken and everything because he was saying to himself he should not have shared his, his invention with others before he got the information on how to patent it and copyright it. So I'm just on here today to say that that was generational wealth that was stolen from us but those people that did that I don't know if they know they still alive or not but they know that that was not their invention but that's all I have to say I have a question um can you tell me in today's time a particular doll or invention you see today that will be similar to what your father invented during that time? Well, the Mattel doll, because Mattel, I think, came out in 1960, I think. And see, my daddy did this before the 50s. It was like the late 40s up into the 50s and working on it until uh, I was born in 1954. So the Mattel doll, and I'm thinking back in the 1800s, they had a talking doll, but they didn't have a walking doll. And I'm not sure who was the inventor on that. I'm thinking it was Edison. Edison was the inventor back in the 1800s that had the talking doll. But the voice of the doll actually scared the kids. So I don't know whether he just, you know, did it again to make the voice sound more friendly. So, so parents would buy it for their kids or what. But all I know that they didn't have a walking doll until my daddy made the walking doll. And somebody took that, took his invention and used it for their own gain. If Hezekiah Jackson Sr. was alive today, what 
would be the title of his invention if you could prick pick his brain if he was alive? Oh well, he called his doll Richard. His doll, his doll's name was Richard. But you had some other, um, like I said, the inventors that came after him that picked up on his uh, walking doll. And then they added the talking with the with the doll. So it was a walking, talking doll at the time. So I think when they did the walking, talking doll, that was in the 60s, 1960, something like that. I'm not sure. But if you go back and kind of look at, you know, when the walking, talking doll was invented and stuff, they'll tell you about the talking doll. Then it comes up to the walking, talking doll. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, seems like he was a very, not only innovative inventor, but he was well ahead of his time. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Thank yes, you so was. much. You're welcome.